Hey everyone, this is DHTV and today I'm going to be reviewing another app for you. This is City Birds and it's for iOS, so if you have an iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone, you can download it. Let's get started. Now when you first open up City Birds, you have the three sections, which is play, unlock birds, and then your high scores. You've also got a tutorial section and an information section right here, and we'll go through everything in just a little bit. But for now, let's go straight into some gameplay. All right, so this is City Birds, a game based around birds flying around the city, trying to avoid dangers. And what you're doing is trying to get them in their cages before anything bad happens to them. So the controls are pretty easy to follow. You basically just hold on a bird and swipe it to the cage. So the red birds in the red cage, the blue birds in the blue cages, and the green birds in the green cages. Now this may sound easy, but as the game progresses, you'll notice the birds coming at you at different speeds, some with rocket packs. You'll also notice them coming in in larger groups, and you'll notice more eggs being thrown at you or more dynamites being tossed at you and things like that. So it really does get challenging and really makes you think before just swiping any bird into the cage. Now as I said throughout the game you'll notice that dynamite will float up at you and what you want to do is swipe across the balloons to drop the dynamite down. You'll also notice power ups will appear as well and you just want to swipe across these this way you get the power up and these will be things like extra lives and no dynamite for 10 seconds and you'll also notice little presents pop up as well and on those you just basically swipe across the present and you'll get the coins inside it. Now if you take a look at the bottom you see it says combo chain and you can see two links are full. Now what this means is I've placed three birds now in three red cages in a row without putting any other birds in any other cages. So now I've got four and what this will do is give me a nice big bonus of coins once I've got five in a row. And you can see I grabbed it right there. Now when you do die it will track your distance as well as the coins earned and give you a final score and this will transfer over to your leaderboards and if you do get on the leaderboards it'll prompt you to put your name in. Now prior to every game you start you will be prompted with a challenge guide here and you can see that I've got three challenges that I'm going to be trying to unlock and you can see I've unlocked the open three presents in one game. I've saved four of the same color birds in a row and now I need to unlock and save a new bird. So I've done that. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that bird in just a second so I should be able to uh, complete this full set of three challenges. Now anytime during the game if you press the pause on the top left you'll be able to access your challenges and see what you want to try to do within your game as well. Moving back to the main page here, we'll select unlock birds. And this is where you can unlock different types of birds that'll appear throughout your gameplay. So by default, you've got the main red, blue, and green bird. But if you swipe across here, we've got quite a few other birds that all do different things. You can see that it'll double your coins with the blue one. It'll double your coins with the green one. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the 900 coin green one here, just so you can see that it'll allow me to get two times the coins when this bird appears or when I actually use this bird and put it into a cage. Now, if you do want to purchase coins, you can do that. That's an in-app purchase. You can see you can spend as little as 99 cents and up to $2.99 if you want to purchase coins within the game. But you don't have to. You can still play the game and get a lot of fun out of it without it. Now, this is the high scores I was talking to you about. And you can see the in-app high scores, so whoever's playing your game or yourself when you've played the game, but you can also use Game Center, which is nice. And you can compete with your friends and see everybody's score that's using the app and compare your score to the high scores within Game Center. And as you can see, I'm nowhere near the top, so I'm gonna really have to get my game going. Moving back to the main page once again, we'll take a look at the tutorial section here. This basically gives you all the instructions you need. So what I've just told you, but a little bit more in depth here. So how to move the birds, how to swipe them backwards, forwards, how to get your power ups and various things like that. So you can check out this tutorial section just by clicking on the question mark from the main page of the City Birds game. All right, so to close things out, we'll take a look at the application within the App Store itself. And this app actually costs 99 cents, which is well worth the price for the amount of stuff that goes on within this game. You're not gonna get bored of this game after one play. You're gonna get a lot of time and a lot of gameplay out of it because there was so much going on within the back with the different birds and various things to unlock and all the challenges. It really reminds me a little bit of the Jetpack Joyride game, which honestly is one of my favorite games. So I'm gonna be playing this game. I hope you guys do as well if you do let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you think of the game as well. I hope you guys enjoy this and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.